All right, in today's VOD session, we're going over the end of the Skid Row hardpoint between New York and Vegas. Vegas was up big in this hardpoint, and New York was able to make a really big comeback, and they were able to win the final three hills on this map to take the 1-0 lead, and they would end up 3-0-ing Vegas. So really big comeback out of them. Let's get right into it. All right, so we'll start with this P3 rotation here. As you can see, New York spawning through middle and towards this P4 side. Vegas is actually at old, and they're going to soak the rest of this time. So they'll be up, you know, around 40 to 50 points going into this P3. They actually have the initial body towards this new hill so let's see how this plays out for new york they have people towards this mid side they also have one guy taking the route through towards this back apartments area kismet's able to get a really big kill on number eight over here and they end up getting some trades towards this middle area as well so kismet's gonna get towards this apartment side he's gonna be maintaining control and trying to work with sib who's on hill over here so they continue with this final guy towards this new hill number five attached gives this up with the wrong time and kismet actually gets a timing to get this kill on in so what happens here is new york is able to get initial control towards his p3 so as you can see here number three kismet he gets this kill on number five but he's instantly going to watch his pins so he knows there's a possibility that vegas could go through bottom middle here towards laundry and try and break through you know trying to pinch on in through that way but what happens here is one of the other new york guys is going to pick up this pinch as you can see here number one paco is able to kill nero on this pinch so that makes kismet's job a little bit easier but he still has to hold the pinch you know there could be another person taking this route and there actually is you know number six is taking this route so you know if number four didn't die and spawn back up over here it was still kismet's job to be holding this pinch as the last one in line so once someone spawns up that means he can bump himself off the hill you know we talked about bumping a long time ago but what it is is you know this guy's in this position watching the pinch and what happens here you know number four spawns up he's gonna bump over towards this position start holding the pinch himself and this guy number five can bump over into the hill start soaking time and that creates a situation where number two can either play with him on time or can you know maybe take a child towards top mid or do something something else uh, so that he's in a tradable position and then Kismet can possibly get his trade on time. So, you know, you're still just trying to work together here, making sure that you're picking up all those lanes and that's what they're doing. They're just covering their bases for this and you see number four now pinch, picks up the pinch. Even though he dies, he still picked it up so there wasn't a free kill, but because he dies, you know, Kismet's able to turn around here. He becomes the pinch watcher again because he's last in line. So he picks this up, gets this trade on Sandy, easy free kill. And then as you see on the other side, you know, even though Vegas is breaking on through all these three different sides you'll see number eight is top mid number five is going to be hitting this front side and then number six is trying to hit through laundry here even though they get this first kill on skies here and have you know a 3v2 and possible 4v2 on this hill new york is able to salvage this and i'll show you why so new york knows this situation is not favorable to them especially once skies dies so sib sees that someone is contesting towards the time he's going to take this child because he knows that in order to try and salvage this he has to take some sort of child to bail them out so what happens here is kismet's going to watch the back they have no one watching top mid and you know sib he has to give up this mid to try and take this chow he takes this chow on number five gets his kill number three gets the kill on the pinch and now with paco top mid he makes a really good play of just trying to refill towards time and going towards this mid cut area towards dub because he knows that they could possibly be breaking on in and he's able to get a reflank onto purge here gets his kill before he starts breaking on in even though sib dies over here to this last guy they know he's last guy alive and they have the numbers so they salvage the situation pretty well probably should have been a break for vegas you know even though they get this first blood number six is probably going to be dead to rights because kismet is watching this pinch but you know number eight was in a position here where he can try and hit the hill really quickly with the rest of his guys but unfortunately you know sib takes this chow so he's not able to get this trade right away without dying and you know paco and kismet are right there to get those trades this last guy alive on time is just going to be flanked right by paco right here so a uh, pretty unfortunate situation for vegas not getting that break on in and new york is able to salvage that pretty well and now everyone is going to start trying to go towards this new time uh, because they know that it's going to be such an important hold p4 barber super tight a pretty decent hold if you can use some teamwork and it's going to come down that hill regardless because neither team wins off of this hill anyways so you're going to see new york actually win some big gunfights on this rotation you see number two here wins a big gunfight on sandy to get that initial positioning in the hill and now you have new york off hold still holding a good 24 seconds and you have some initial positioning towards new they're going to try and chain these two hills to start taking the lead and possibly win this game right here so as you'll see here you know skies is trying to hold this god stairs area he gets traded out by purge but what do you know number three kismet who was watching towards this old time making sure that you know even if they hit paco out he can get trades over there but he audibles and now tries to help towards new time gets this trade onto purge after he gets the kill on skies and now you know sib 
is still on new time. Kismet can now play a little corner here, try and get any sort of freebies on this rotation. They already have that initial positioning with Vegas spawning out deep. So once Skies spawns up, he holds bottom mid for them. So they're just trying to cut off all these routes towards the new hill. As you see, Vegas tries to bang out this scrap time to try and get initial positioning, probably towards, you know, this app side. But unfortunately though, Paco gets a huge two piece off of this old time. And that's gonna really stagger the pushes out of Vegas. They're really trying to focus and play through old this way. But unfortunately with that two piece, that staggers them pretty hard. And now, you know, P4 has just popped. New York has really good positioning with all of Vegas spawning out. Paco's even able to get Nero over here. So he gets another kill even before getting traded out. So as you see here, they're still trying to work through this old side, pushing through towards this app area. But New York is just holding super tight. You know, they have God stairs. So they have the top mid. They have anyone that might be going bottom mid. They have anyone that might be going tunnel. So pretty much the only area they can try and break on in through is towards this app side. But this is a really easy adjustment for New York once they realize Paco dies and that space is given up and where Paco spawns. So Paco is able to spawn up, you know, top mid over here. And what he's going to be able to do is just hold his top mid stairs. And that's going to allow Kismet to give this up, rotate towards dark over here to make sure that he has some help towards this front door with Sib. So they're kind of, you know, crossing this angle towards together because Sib is watching, you know, the tunnel. He's watching dark. And now they've doubled up time with Skies going in this corner and he can watch their back this way. So a pretty good adjustment for New York holding this hill. They know where the enemies could be coming from. This is a great off angle by Paco. If you're playing out towards this P4 and you know how they have to break on in through this middle area, you can hold this angle because you know they have to come up these green stairs and pressure God stairs if they want to break this hill. So you can just hold this offy. They're going to have to hard clear you if you're playing this. And as you see here, Standy throws a stun, but it misses. So, you know, it doesn't even hit Paco. So he doesn't know that Paco is there. It's really unfortunate for Sandy because it's a good play. He knows that there's a possibility he could be playing this off angle and tries to stun it, but the stun misses. So Paco is able to get a free kill on Sandy here. He even gets weak from it. So Sandy was still expecting it, but uh, Paco is able to get that kill. As you see here, the rest of the Vegas team is trying to hit through the backside. They're going to try and teamwork this. They get the first kill on Skies, but Sib is there for the trade. And now they're going to try and play super tight. Sib gets a nice three piece playing on time. He doesn't even need the rest of his team to help him out with that. And they're able to lock this down now. They know that they're spawning out towards this P2 garage side. They're able to get a kill on Stanley here. Sib is going huge in this moment. He's on a five spree. And then you see on the other side, this is a really heads up play by Skies here. So what he's going to do is he's going to spawn top mid and he's going to jump out and play this deep corner to watch the entire dark and back cross for anyone that might be trying to break on in through bottom mid over here. So what he's doing here is he's playing a position where they have to once again, hard clear him similar to what Paco was doing here. So really heads up play knowing that they can possibly spawn garage here and playing for it like this. He's able to get a freebie kill on number seven here. Uh, he ends up getting trade out, but that kill is enough because now they get the information on where the opponents are trying to come from. They're going to try and hit the back once more again because they're going to have to hit this old time. New York wins off of this time. You see 18 seconds, 233. They win off this. So Vegas has to contest and that's why they send two people towards this contestion. But that allows for New York to start breaking on through towards this tunnel side and getting initial positioning for the P5. So they're staying ahead on this rotation. They actually get a blessed spawn uh, in P2 here. So Paco spawns P2. So he basically spawns into the rotation, but they know that Vegas has to hit this old time to even stay in this game. So, you know, once number one spawns here and even number four gets this spawn too, once they get these spawns towards this P2, it's just going to be the easiest rotation of their life because it's such a power position for them. You know, Paco's just pulled on AR here. He's just holding a heady watching this garage post because he knows that their tunnel is fine and he knows that the shortest possible way for them to try and get towards this new time is through garage here. So, he, you know, he's just pre-aiming this. He's going to get a freebie kill on number seven here and they already have this rotation towards new. Even if they don't get these kills all old, but Kismet is able to get some trades on in. He's going to be the last alive. So they're going to soak the rest of this time. Skies is going to use his streak. They actually see number six uh, with the streak here and he's just going to go for him. He's the furthest pushed up. When you're trying to use your streak like that, you just want to make sure that you're getting the person that's, you know, furthest pushed up for the team and could possibly try and make a play. So standing here, no trophy for him. So that's a freebie kill for Skies. And now they get some kills towards garage area. You know, Vegas is trying to just get towards the new hill because they know they've already lost the rotation to it. So they're just trying to do anything uh, to bail themselves out. Unfortunately though, 
244. They're just gonna get on this new time. They have number four watching the deep cross towards ticket, number one watching garage, and number three here watching towards the tunnel. So a really good final hold here. You know, everything is covered for New York. Easy hold for them. And now they only have to soak four seconds to win on this game. No one's close to the hill. And they're able to make a really big comeback on the skid row, similar to how we did it. But those last three hills were really clinical in how they were, you know, holding and staying ahead on the rotation for the final three. So really big props to New York playing those last three hills really well. So that's going to do it for today's botch session. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for making the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.